Oh, hey guys, I was just taking a walk in my desert, which is actually just my green screen studio. Anyways, guys, everything that you see behind me is all rendered in real time. Yes, even the camera movement right now. But this is all possible because of Unreal Engine. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And guys, Unreal Engine is free to download. So you can just go ahead and do that and follow along with this tutorial video and see how we created all of this without any prior experience. Yes, it's that easy. Let's do this. Smooch! If you didn't hear me. So there is some work to set everything up, guys, because we need to wirelessly send a video signal over to the computer. Then Unreal Engine is going to process that, basically doing a green key. And then it's going to have to send that back wirelessly to the camera. So that way we can see in real time what we are keying out. Alright guys, we've set up a big green screen, now you don't need this size of a green screen of course, but later in this video we're gonna try to work with camera tracking as well, and then this is gonna be helpful. Now your idea today is to do a live green keying and replace the background with an environment created in Unreal Engine. Now in order to do that we're going to have to send the signal of the camera, which is currently done wireless through HDMI, over to the computer. And let's check out how that is done over there. So here comes that HDMI signal which is being sent through through a capture device. Now we are using the cam link which basically transforms the signal from HDMI to USB 3.0. Now you can also work with something like the Blackmagic products, they also have certain capture devices. That doesn't matter, you want to bring it into the computer and then into Unreal Engine to do your live green keying but that is something for Lorenzo. Doing a live green screen in Unreal Engine is actually very easy. In the software itself, you have a library where you can install a ton of plugins which can help you out with whatever task you may need. And in this case, I use Composure, which makes real-time compositing super easy. I set my CG layer, the desert, and my media plate, which is the camera input in Composure, and with a simple click of a button, I was able to key out Jordi. I was responsible for building the world in Unreal Engine, and to be honest, as a first-time user, it was very easy to work with. Of course, I watched some tutorials to learn the basics, but once I understood those basics, I was off creating giant worlds with ease. Now for the assets that we used in the landscape, they all came from the Megascans library from Quixel. This is a huge library full of 3D models, 3D textures, and the best thing, it's all for free if you're using Unreal Engine. They have this deal set up with Unreal Engine, so you can download as much as you want. And believe me guys, their library is super awesome, super realistic and makes it even easier to create such realistic worlds in Unreal Engine. Now for the landscape itself, I just dragged in some assets, positioned them where I wanted, I used some foliage to make it more realistic so everything is more combined into a real world and then there's the lighting. Personally, I find lighting very hard to recreate in a 3D environment. But the lighting feature in Unreal Engine really amazed me. With just a few actors or lights, you can create such a realistic light setup. We used a sun simulation and some atmospheric fog to create this moody vibe and that was really it. Our light setup is done, easy as that. However, the best thing in Unreal Engine, in my opinion, is that you can work real time when creating stuff. What you see is what you get and this makes your workflow so smooth. So believe it or not, but I created this entire desert world as a beginner in just a few hours, which we can now use in our green screen shot. All right guys, now that we have the green key working, which is awesome, we're gonna have to try and match the lighting a little bit with the Unreal Engine C. The compositing is done and we were able to change the lights and the environment and everything in real time. I really believe that the way that we create VFX is changing. Just seeing what Unreal Engine is capable of creating photorealistic renders in real time is really something guys. It's super easy to get into and you're not wasting time with rendering. Now we are still new to this but if you can see what some of these professional creators are putting out, it is astonishing. I can barely tell whether this is 3D or real. You know what I think, guys? It's unreal. This looks really good. Like, it looks so re realistic as well. You wouldn't say that that is 3D. So we can say that the green keying is successful, but now let's take it to a next level. We want to move in our scene with our own camera. Let's do some camera tracking. 
This is the easiest episode we've ever done, guys. Like, seriously, it's just doing a green key, that's it. Or at least for me. I mean, Janek built the world and Lorenzo figured out the whole keying and tracking. For me, it's the easiest episode. All right, we've just done the green screen test and it went perfect. This is something that you can all do at home. You just need a green screen and Unreal Engine, which is completely for free. Now we're gonna take this to the next level and also move this camera around. And at the same time, we want the background to move as well. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to send over the movement of this camera to the computer. Now, since we have a VR setup here in the studio, which is through the Valve Index, we can actually use these controllers to send the movement over to Unreal. How cool is that? Palenque and Lorenzo? Really cool. <laughs> I don't have any clamps for the controller, so this is a little bit DIY. But it works. And yet again, I used the plugin library that Unreal has. And right there, they have this Live Link plugin. And what this does is easily take the tracking data from our controller and put it in into the software. Once that was done, I connected the virtual camera to the tracking data. And now when we move the tracker around, the virtual camera followed our exact movement. Next, we attach the tracker to the camera so that our virtual camera takes the exact same movement of the physical one. Since we're working with a wireless transmitter, the movement of both plates originally didn't match up. Our tracking data was faster than the camera input, so I needed to add a small delay for the tracking data in the live link settings to sync it back. Next up, I used the sequence recorder to record our scene. In here, I only added our virtual camera because we only need that footage. To record our green screen, we simply press the record button on the camera itself. We could record and use the composure output, which is already keyed out, but we only use this as a reference while filming. Since what Unreal gets is a downscaled and compressed HDMI signal, it's best to record the green screen with the camera itself. In our case, we even get red raw. So we're going to sync both recordings and pull a perfect key in post-production. It's like I'm filming in the desert right now, guys. I can just feel it. I'm so thirsty. Now, something really cool about Unreal Engine is the way you record. For example, we can capture this nice pan movement in our desert. But what Sequence Recorder actually does is not record the screen of what's happening, but it creates keyframes of our camera. And from here on out, you render your shot. This means once you recorded your scene, you can adjust it without having to redo the shot. We can easily change where the light comes from, add or remove objects, keyframe focus pools, basically anything you want. This is a pretty cool environment as well, uh, guys. Well, actually, this is a demo project created in Unreal Engine 5, which is currently in beta, but everyone can try it out. You can download it from your Epic Games launcher as well as this demo project. Isn't that cool, guys? Go ahead and download Unreal Engine, have fun with it. You can click the first link in the description down below to learn all about it. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Unreal Engine, for the support. And as always, stay creative. You know what the real challenge is now, guys? That is for the actor. I have to pretend to be in the desert. It's really hard. Now, who put this stair right here?